My name's Ian Soreo. I'm the IT manager for Elthorne Parks High School and Villiers High School. I'm responsible for an IT collaboration between the two schools, which is in its third year. I'm Melissa Wickens. I'm head of music at Elthorne Park High School and we're in West Ealing. And this is currently a GCSE coursework composition lesson and they're using GarageBand to compose minimalism. Before we implemented the DataJar uh, solution, we had a typical Apple network, which you normally find in education, Apple is pretty tricky to manage and look after. In those days, we had the traditional Apple server environment. That brought various different challenges. Fundamentally, with the new solution, we were looking at a drastic reduction in the IT support course. We were looking for a system that just works without a lot of admin overhead in terms of IT and just day-to-day -day management. We first started with just a few PC computers and we just had Sibelius and the kids had to share three or four computers that were set up in there. And then we got our first Mac IT suite. There were lots of issues that came up. There was no sync with the Windows network, so we had no communication with them and everything had to be saved separately. In terms of the security, pretty much you could go into anybody's file, which wasn't really secure or private, which then causes lots of problems with data and things like that. There needed to be something done for everything to just go more smoothly without the glitches. We knew the technical lead at DataJar and he basically was aware of the condition of the system. Having first-hand experience of what we were going through, he approached us and basically introduced a system that he was developing and offered that. And in terms of going with DataJar, uh, it was, I believe, the only company that was doing that sort of thing at the time, which is nice to be at the cutting edge. So we had a meeting, Data Jar kind of said, well, what do you want set up? How do you want things to work? Even the way, you know, folders opened and how we saw those folders and the organization of them. We were able to discuss that, uh, which was really great. And then they set it all up. And then we had another meeting after to go over how the system worked and the changes and any other things that we wanted to change. For me, I just like the fact that I can access the Windows network and the Mac network. So I feel like I have power over <laughs> more resources that way. I like the hand in and hand out folder. You can um, put resources in a handout folder for students and you can color a pathway for them to follow. And the permissions on that are really good because once the kids drop something in the hand in folder, they can't change it, which is great because then it secures the work that's being handed in. So I'm happy to say after what is over three years of use, it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. In terms of feedback from the teachers, they tell us things like they can run a lesson without being disturbed with IT problems. The data jar solution is reliable, robust, streamlines all of the processes, brings everything together. Every single visitor that comes is just blown away by the Macs, but also that they actually work. That's always, um, it's always a thumbs up for us. I mean, to me, I mean, data jar has just made teaching and learning just more smooth, more efficient and effective. In my list of suppliers that I have, DataJar are up there as one of my favourites to work with, to deal with, and to help us on our journey uh, towards getting more reliable IT in, in place. They've got a good understanding of what it is that we need to achieve. So I always feel they're meeting me halfway. I don't have to convince them in terms of where I want to go. They already know, um, so it's a really good partnership.